May 29th, 30th, 31st, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The sun is in Gemini, the moon is in Libra. It's a trine. They both get along great with each other. Gemini, Libra, can I just talk about that? Funny, witty, reading, studying, magazines, books, all the time, their gift of the gab. I have another friend, I do have this in my chart, but I have another friend who I've watched his scientific capacity to articulate words that just make you so impressed. And there's a grand trine in air for part of the day because the moon, so we've got sun in Gemini, trining moon in Libra, and then we have Pluto in Aquarius just entered. So it's a very energetic day, Monday, Tuesday. We should wake up feeling like, wow, it's lightened. You know how everything goes in eras and cycles of the Gemini Libra. We move through energies. And right now we're in the air cycle. There is a kite. So there's that grand trine with the kite to Leo, which really activates the fun factor. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you need to wake up recognizing we're in Gemini solar energy. We've got this lovely moon in Libra giving us permission to talk, to communicate. And there's only one planet in fire which is that Mars and Leo, it finally got in Leo. Mars is at five degrees. So there is this juju in the sky. It's Memorial Day. Can we just take a moment and pause and give thanks to all those that give service to our country and who have devoted their life to a cause? That is not a Gemini Libra thing to do because when you put air in a box, it slips out. And when you work for the government and you're willing to be of service, you've got to follow the rules. That is not Gemini Libra. And can we just also comment that May 29th is John F. Kennedy's birthday. What an amazing Gemini was he. And by the way, he had Libra in him. It was a very similar chart. The wordsmith, the charm, the ability to capture a whole country and make us so proud. So Gemini Libra, the ability to do charm. You're going to notice Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday that you've got the get up and go. You're going to be writing. You're going to be thinking. It's the time to focus. If a baby were born with this, the gift of the gab, the ability to study, the mental acuity to remember what they've read, the ability to be an orator, to use words. I swear I have this in my chart. You got to notice. They use their hands. They're really fun. And at their worst, they're emotionally cut off. But it doesn't really bother us because they're so cute. Just had to give myself a little shout out. Uh, astrology Answers said, tell them Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Feel the light energy and see if you can use it. Happy Memorial Day. If you like this video, be sure to join the waitlist for my online school, Applied Astrology, where you'll discover the basics of how to read your birth chart and how to give readings to others. Your true purpose in this lifetime is waiting for you and a clear roadmap so you can follow your path and fall madly in love with you. Come click in the description to join the waitlist and I'll let you know when the registration opens again. You'll be the first one on the list.